Hi guys, this is JB and this is Capital JB Comics. With me I have Benedict, backed by Popular Demand. <laughs> In today's video, we will talk about how do we store and protect our comic books once we've purchased and read them. We will do so right after this quick video. See you guys soon. Are you saying bye? Say bye. <laughs> bye guys. If you are new to comics and comic book collecting, you might hear the term bag and board often. Literally, what they're saying is a bag and a piece of cardboard. Those two combine to form something that looks like this. So what happens is your comic goes in front of the cardboard and the cardboard gives it a layer of rigidity that, that protects it against bends and creases. The bag then has a one and a half inch flap that closes and gets taped down once the comic is inside and the bag provides it with a layer of protection against liquids, dust and of course scratches. Um, you can get the generic bag and boards versus the more expensive Gerber Mylight bag and boards. Um, you can't see the difference on camera, but holding both in your hand, you will feel and see the difference. The Gerbers are just, it, it feels better made. Um, the bag is crystal clear and the boards are thicker. The generic cheaper bag is has like a film to it. It's not as clear as the Gerbers and the board are thinner so less protection against bends and creases so this is what the gerber my lights look like um in my hand i have the gerber 50 standard comic book size and the 54 back standard boards um the boards are about 20 dollars canadian for a 50 pack and the bags are about uh, $25 for a 50 pack as well. So yes, pricey, but worth it. And also guys, you got to make sure you get the right size because I did a mistake and I got, and I thought every Gerber my, my lights were the exact same size. So I got a bag that is the bag and board that is way too big for my coming book. So thus having lots of movement inside the bag so make sure you get the right size and the size you should all get for current size comics are seven and a quarter inch by ten and a half inch bag plus the one and a half inch flap for the boards you need to get the seven inch by ten and a half inch backboards so now, once you get your bags and, and your boards, what do you do? Like, what is the next step? Well, the next step is to get either a short box or a long box. I will show you guys how to properly store your comic. Okay, so here we have a short box filled with comic books, right guys? So now, let's go through the number one mistake everyone does while storing their comic books in a short box or long box. So, they take the first comic comic book, place it in. Second one, place it in. Third, place it in. Fourth, place it in. And this would go on until the box is full with comics and you move to the next box. So, but what I learned is when I go back and try to click out a comic a comic book I noticed that each and every comic book had a spine roll to it I don't know if you guys can see it from the cam from the camera but this book has a roll at the spine so a way to fix that guys is to place your first comic in your second comic would face the opposite way your third comic would come back 
facing forward, fourth, opposite way, fifth, back facing forward until the box is full. So what that does is that it distributes the pressure and weight that each comic adds to the pack evenly and not just on one side of the book. So now if you look, if I take a book, it's going to be perfectly balanced, no spine roll, no, no creases, no nothing because I have distributed the weight evenly throughout the whole box. So this is how you should store and place your comic books in a short box, guys. So what do you do when your books are slammed by CGC, PGX, and CBCS? How do you store them? Well, you have one option. The option is called a CGC um, short box. It's, it's not made by CGC, but it just has a CGC logo on it. So people just call it CGC short box. But what it is, it's a box that um, is made for magazine size books so people just use it to store their slab books like cgc pgx and cbcs it also can hold your international slabs if you have one like uh, halo here which is a bit taller than cgc but but the lid closes flush perfectly just the same so this is what i would recommend to use to store your slab books if you are not framing framing them and having them um posted on a wall somewhere um also guys uh last subject is location where in your house should you store your comics well you should not store them in a attic in a place that the temperature varies from hot to cold because you do not want moisture build up guys and also you would want to keep them out of the sun in a dark place uh cool dry if you are having them posted on the wall please move them from side to side so they don't get hit by the sun at the exact same spot every time this concludes our video we've talked about how to store our comic books protect our comic books, and where to store our comic books. So, if you haven't done so yet, guys, please like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know each and every time I upload a new video. This is Capital JB Comics, and have fun collecting, guys. See ya!